Well, today I want to talk about OCD. It's a lameness that dogs can get in their shoulder or hawk, young, young dogs, and it's kind of a chronic mild lameness. What happens is if a dog's joint doesn't develop correctly, the cartilage may lift off and expose the underlying bone. That loose piece of cartilage can flop back and forth and very irritate the joint a whole bunch and cause lameness, you, as you can imagine. Cartilages should be nice and smooth and lubricated, and it should be gliding. If a joint is not made correctly, if it's too loose or too tight, if a young dog's growing too fast and he can't form it correctly, if it's not fed the right amount of calcium and phosphorus, like in a large breed puppy diet for those fast growing puppies, um, if it's the cartilage isn't thick enough or isn't durable enough, it may tear like this and wear out. And that's called OCD or osteochondritis desiccans. You can see in this x-ray, um, here's the humerus, which is a bone in the front of the leg. Here's the elbow. And I'm going to point right now to the joint, the shoulder joint. And the shoulder joint, the ball of the humerus should be nice and smooth. Right at the back of the humerus is a common place for this little divot we'll see. And the divot gets real fluffy. Uh, you can see it's, at least I can see, it's not smooth like it is up top. And the very back, it's rough. And that's what happens in OCD. That cartilage flap lifts up and it causes roughness and pain and swelling. Here's a the area where it does get affected in young dogs and you can see in the upper right corner the cartilage is firmly attached to the underlying bone. In the osteochondritis desiccans it will detach from the underlying bone, lift up and break and that's where it causes the lameness. Here's the surgeon Dr. Ron May Pumphrey has isolated the shoulder joint and the piece. Now he's going to lift up on that piece and lift it off. And you can see him do it right at the end there. He puts that piece on a gauze pad so you can see it. See how rough it is? That was the piece that lifted off the bone and was causing the pain. So after he's done lifting it off, he scrapes it and gets all the loose pieces off so it will fill in with fibrocartilage, another type of cartilage, and get smooth so again. So what you saw was, you saw the surgeon scraping the, the pieces of, off the ball of the humerus. And this is what the, inc the incision looks like. And after, after the surgery, of course, you have to take it easy for a couple of weeks. But you can see, I mean, after the surgery, she's actually wanting to put some weight on it. And so, watch, it just, it's not too bad. I certainly would, I certainly would feel a lot more painful that, for that if it was me. So osteochondritis desiccans is a disease of the bones and joints of younger dogs. It occurs when dogs get too heavy or fast growing dogs like the Mastiffs and Labs and Rottweilers. Um, their joints are growing so fast they may not form correctly. Also, they need the right amount of calcium and phosphorus for those joints to, joints to form correctly. And they shouldn't be on the heavy side because that will also put pressure on the joint and it won't form like it should. So OCD is a specific problem when the cartilage lifts off the joints in the ball area of the humerus or actually in the hot joint. It can happen there too. So that's just wanted to tell you about that, show you the surgery, which I thought that piece was really cool that he lifted off there. And if you get a chance, go to if you get a chance, go to Dog Dish Diet and check out my website on better nutrition for dogs. Have a great day.